it might be hard to trust someone if you're already in the midst of a divorce. So why do you also need to keep your guard up with your own divorce attorney? Joining us now is divorce lawyer and author of this book. There it is, The Premarital Planner, Vicki Ziegler. Hey, Vicki, thanks for being with us. Good morning. All right, so you're telling us the five things divorce attorneys will not tell you. Number one, you'll pay more than the advertised rate. What do right. you mean by that? Yeah, we're seeing people uh, advertising $2.99 for a quick and easy divorce. But what does that actually mean? You really need to read the fine print. Most people can't divor get divorced for $299. A complaint for divorce that starts the case, even if you're settled, costs about $250 or $260. So you have to know exactly what's on that a la carte menu that's in addition to the original fee. You need to make sure that you're looking at the fine print and asking the questions. What are all of my costs going to be court filing fees, any additional time for the staff of that attorney? It's really important to do Old that. Old rule, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, right? You got it. All right, my lack of fiscal know-how will cost you. All right, most divorce attorneys don't have a finance background, so it's really important for people to come together, and if there's going to be a division of a retirement account, is there going to be a capital gains as it relates to real estate, you want to make sure that you get a financial expert. There's uh, certified financial divorce experts, there's CPAs, and then there's forensic accountants. You want to make sure that if you have enough money that's going to be divided and you have those tax implicated questions that you get your team of experts. Don't just rely on the divorce attorney for those financial questions. Okay, number three, I make promises I can't keep. That is a no-no. Absolutely unethical to guarantee a settlement. For a client to come into your office and to say, I guarantee you're going to get X in alimony, X in child support, you're getting the house. You can say there's a likely probability that your facts and the case law would allow you to get this. But if, an, if you walk into an attorney's office and they say you're going to guarantee, I am going to guarantee guarantee this, you start running. You don't walk out of that office. Because it's not their decision, it's the judge's decision, Absolutely. Right? The judge wears the robe, the attorneys do not. All right, now number four, you may not even need me. Oh my gosh, throwing my profession <laughs> under the bus. What's <laughs> happening? You know what? There's mediation, there's arbitration. There's a new way that people are trying to get divorced and it's in this bad economy. And what it is, is one person can hire the, the one mediator, um, both parties can pay for so they can share the cost. It's an unbiased third party, often an attorney, an experienced attorney or a judge a retired judge and they can really assist you in the process as long as you're both on the same level playing field and you kind of both know where the financial assets are and you're not fighting about that much. Do you do more mediations? Starting to do a lot more mediations. People are really taking that route and I, I really like it. It's less acrimonious. You're helpful. You can take time. You're not rushed in the court mm -hmm. system. So I really enjoy the process. All right, number five, I don't have time for you. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Everybody wants their divorce attorney to have a lot of time for them. They don't want them to charge them too much, but you want to know that you're being taken care of. The problem is divorce rates are spiking and they keep going up and people are having leaner and leaner offices. They don't have their backup attorneys to help, their associates, and the staff isn't there like it used to be. Yeah. So all of a sudden you're not getting the calls returned, you're not getting the paperwork filed on time, and that's really a big problem. You need to know exactly how much time your attorney is going to dedicate to you and if there is a problem, he's sick or goes on vacation, is there backup? Otherwise you could be left in the lurch and we don't want to see people having that problem. Good advice. Thanks so much, Vicki. Thank you. And it is now five minutes to the top.